Hello, it's Scott Manley here with part 10 of Stellaris, and it appears that I may be losing my slight lead in the race to uh, expand our species. The Valdari have now caught up, but I think it's time for me to start spreading the word to some of my species in the region. Hey, okay, so we've got a lot of things to do. The Maldor, what are you going to do? Oh, look, we've got some of this special resource here. We need to do that. This is the Zurnur system they've finished exploring. Uh, I'd like you to survey here. And that is the Enigmatic Energy Cloud. Oh, 178. My uh, task force will more than be able to take care of that. Meanwhile, my science ship can head over there and examine the, the, the uh, remains of the crystalline entities which we eliminated. And the construction ship can head out to Jaffon because I realized that one of the reasons I wanted to build this outpost was because I wanted to contact this species, the Bave, the Turk on Turk Bapont. These are, uh, they're basically, they have their own space race or whatever, their own space technology. So we have an opportunity to bring them into our empire. Okay, but somebody is evasing a hostile fleet. Oh, wow. These are pretty crazy looking void clouds. Uh, yes, void cloud aned. What does it say? Hostile fleet. We're missing, we're evading an abysmal, abyssal host and a chasmal host. Or a chasmal. Okay, do that. Uh, survey system, fleet order finished, and hostile fleets present. Okay. Well, we know to not deal with those guys. So, yeah. Uh, let me just see what is going on here. So we have the Maldor. We have an observatory being built. Oh, well, we, we get this observatory now as well. And since we have the technology, I'm going to do some aggressive observation that will vastly improve the technology or the social technology that we're gaining from this. Now, on Oldara, we're almost finished building this, and hopefully that will unblock our population growth, because right now we're having some serious trouble. You can build yourself a basic power plant that'll come online any minute. Okay, because these guys are... they have tons of food, so they're expanding very, very quickly. Okay, you... where are you? It says they're in the stush. Okay, oh, I th wait, we already killed that stuff out this way. Fine. We still have that scary space amoeba there that's super powerful. Enigmatic Entity Void Cloud. Oh, wait a second, that's one. Oh, yeah, we can totally kill that one. Space Force, head out there and bag me a Void, co a void Cloud corpse. We have unlocked fusion missiles. Well, actually, now I think about it, maybe I should upgrade my fleet before they do that. Um, upgrade your fleet first, because that would be nice. Also, we have better engineering. Oh, we get everything. Okay. So, engineering. Do we want antimatter missiles already? <gasps> Wait, this is Granthium Ore. Didn't we find some of that somewhere? Oh, no, we didn't. We found Aurelium, didn't we? Uh, it was one of these systems. The Zurnur, maybe? Yes. That's Aurelium Ore. So you, you can't see it, I guess, on the map until you have researched it. Ceramo metallic armor or fusion missiles. Man, we could just be building awesome weapon systems here and kicking ass. A uh, combination of different metals and ceramics that result in strong armor. Let's do that. To be f Wait a sec, did I get the magic? I didn't get all the technology yet because the... Hold on. Yeah, the, you know, the cloud technology. Yeah, regenerative hull technology is a, uh, it's a social research thing. Genome mapping. Hmm. Biodiversity. Or we could get the ability to colonize Tundra Worlds. I'm going to get genome mapping because I'm getting kind of old. And I really think that I would like to know uh, how to not die. It would be a shame if the spiritual leader of our race was to succumb. Okay, what have we got here? Oh, you've got nothing here. You've already explored everything. Um, Rana. We haven't surveyed that system, and it is within our territory. Although, to be fair, it is way the heck out there. And Hydrobius? Come on. Yes! Finally! And now we can actually upgrade all these things, and hopefully, 
planet summary. Now we're actually at least food positive. Um, maybe I should build... Uh, should I upgrade my mining network? Or should I build a... I, I think we need to grow faster. So what I'm going to do is build a... Oh, Frontier Clinic. That's actually an option as well. What that will do is it'll mean that people are happier living there. Meanwhile, I'm going to upgrade the mining network and upgrade this one as well. Oh, but I don't have this stuff. That's fine. And the first task force are repaired. Are they being upgraded right now? Yes, they're being upgraded. So we'll send them in with their new fusion-capable missiles. Although, I don't know how you would get to this level of uh, you know, technology without developing nuclear fusion warheads. Complete. Certainly, fusion uh, power systems if you might have some issue with. Fleet. Oh, what kind of power is here? Oh, it's another super weak. What is this? It's a void cloud. Ha! These void clouds are going to be rendered extinct from the galaxy at the rate I'm going. Because not only are they, uh, are not only are they weak in the face of my weapons, but they're also uh, scientifically useful. Day evading. Burga has finished something. And this one is still heading out this way. I really, I think what I really need to do is is make contact with the Bavi because these guys, uh, they can colonize ocean planets. We also have an Arctic world. Yeah, this is there's so many reasons System to go here. Complete. I mean, I can send out my my uh, colony ships when I get a chance later. Okay, Macandur. Macandur is now ready for more looking at things. How about you survey this system? We're actually running out of places that we can go where we're not going to encounter scary Research. void clouds and things like that. Research! Research! We got genome mapping. Excellent. Wow, you see how fast we're going through these things now? Epigenetic triggers! Yes, advanced DNA methylation techniques allow for functionally significant alterations to be made to arbitrary genomes. Uh, let's actually just check the species. Uh, check contacts. Do we have... Okay, so it's empires. Uh, none of these are... These are all primitive, so I'm not sure... You can't do uplift on these things. So the technology may not be worth it just yet. What are the other options? Actually, let's upgrade this guy. Cloud lightning conduits. One. Specialized combat computers, which he has really good skills with. Or physics lab, yeah, do that because you're gonna unlock that really quickly. Board we can increase our border range, we can improve our influence, which we were having trouble with for a while, but it looks like we're doing just fine. Uh, uplift. Propaganda transmissions or regenerative hull tissue. I wonder how long that will take to research. Certainly I'm gonna kill more things, so there's no point in me doing this right now, right? Oh man, these all sound cool. I do like the idea of unlocking this thing, just in case I find... But I don't have any species that I can use it on just yet. Um, you know, you can only uplift species that are pre-sentient. So I... Yeah, I guess I'll just do this. That sounds kind of useful. Leave this running. So actually, on my core world... I can build terrain details. What can I build here? I believe that we can start to get other features and stuff like that. No, we don't have that. Okay, never mind. Oh, this guy! Yes! We should build something here, because you're just like standing around doing nothing. Why don't you... Let me just see. Planet summary. We get tons of food. We don't need any more food. We should build a science lab, probably. Basic science lab. We have encountered some form of alien vessels in the Yel Barasata, Yel Barasta system. These strange objects have been flagged as the Lambda aliens until we can learn more about them. We should be cautious, or rather, we should proceed with caution. Let's see what it looks like. Ah, these look like ooh, alien vessels. You know what? We'll research them, but I suspect that we will end up blowing them out of the sky. How's our task force doing? It's finished upgrading, so we can send them out here to kill things. 
And yeah, 416. You see, we upgraded the weapon system, so we now have some serious firepower on our side. Okay, the Maldor. The Maldor can head over this way and survey that system. Yeah, there's just lots of things here to kill. We have to get over this territory. It seems like everything out here is out to kill us. Invading hostile fleet. Fleet upgraded. System surveyed. And you're coming back there. And we definitely should send a construction ship out this way to start harvesting this. Uh, except that we can't. No, we need to do other things. Our construction ship is building the thing here to talk to the local aliens. If we can talk with the animals, we can rock with the animals. And now I notice these guys have blocked off my ability to expand in this direction. So be it. Just wait until I bring in my friends. You will find that you might have some more, uh, some more problems to deal with if you have to go through me. <sighs> Maybe it's time to build a second construction ship. I don't know. I don't feel ever that I'm gated on construction ships because there's so many other things I can be spending resources on. Like upgrading my power plants, for example. Now that we've got this. And upgrade. Oh, wait, no, we've already got that. Evading hostile and we get another hostile fleet. And it's another void cloud. Zool. There is no Dana, only Zool. Great. So, uh, yeah. Everything up here is out to kill me. Okay, construction ship is now finished. And... What should we what should we do here? We could ex we can't exploit that yet. And this is an, a continental world. Let's send them back home. Um, we're already exploiting that. We could exploit that for more science or Azax two give us gas giant. I wish there was a way to like rank the various places. Oh yeah, look. That's going to be good here. More science here. At least when I get to this. Okay, you're going to head over here. And then by the time you get here, you're going to be able to build that science station. So, you know, right? it looks like right now that I'm trying to build kind of vertically. I'm, I'm basically researching technology super fast. And hoping that that will give me an edge over the other species that we're encountering. Okay, I'm going to survey that system. At least we can step through there. And here is my war fleet. Now, where are they going to head? Are they going to head... I... Where, where did they go? Did they run into the void cloud? No, no, they're, they're jumping on to see the void cloud. They're just getting ready to move over there. And a uh, construction ship. Construction ship. It's making, making their way over this way to... To where? Oh wait, no, he can't build anything there because it's not in his, not in the borders. Foolish person that I am. First task force, go on and engage. Yeah, right. Let's see how this goes. Construction ship. Construction complete. Yes. Yeah, let's uh, actually. Construction ship. I want you to build a mining station here. So we are kind of starting to run low on fuel. Not fuel, uh, power. Here we go. We have a fully armed and operational fusion missile armed war fleet. And there is a giant cloud of gas here that we are zapping. With great... With great... <laughs> what's the word? We're just killing them. That's the plan. It's nothing personal. Okay. These things, this void cloud is going down, but we do need to repair our fleet in the meantime. Yes, repair your fleet, and we now have something for the science fleet to investigate. Because we all know that we want to get those technologies, those important technologies that this thing is using to stay alive. Thrad 1. The whole, there's a whole system here to explore. Okay, and... Wait, did we get here and, and 
were we unable? Oh, they just, they turned around because they weren't able to do that. Okay, so now we have the Terek Bar. We should really um, covert infiltration has policy unrestricted native surveys. Ah, or we could do technological thing. Now, will this get them part of my uh, empire? I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to start trying to teach these guys about the awesomeness of space travel. That's apparently taking power, though. Yeah, it takes a lot of power, so it's a good thing I'm going to start building some more power stations and everything. So much going on! You can now build an engineering facility. Why not? Upgrade that stuff. On Oldara... Uh, yeah, we've got... Uh, yeah, we can't build that there because he's not a... There's nobody living there. But, planetary survey, yes, we are actually getting people 14 of 47. Um, let's build that mining network. And Burga. Oh, you know, oh, 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 of course, of course. Um, there's a way that you can move sp uh, people between planets now. How do I do that again? Um, where is it? Is there a population that I could choose to move him? Can I resettle? Oh, resettlement policy is set to allowed. That would cost me influence, I suspect, right? Policies, resettlement. Resettlement is prohibited, and to make it allowed, I would have to have the individual. Uh, I can't. I don't have either of the individualist or fanatical individualist. So, yeah, so I can't forcibly resettle them. I have to hope that my guys want to emigrate on their own, but they are individualists, so, you know, that's that's possible. It's entirely likely that they want to move from one place to another. Okay, but Burga, how are we doing here? We have these guys and these guys. Yeah, we're growing fast enough. We have plenty of food to keep research us over. Complete. Oh, good, research. What do we get? Quantum theory. So that unlocks the physics lab. I could immediately go for the physics lab too, or AI-controlled colony ships. Hmm. Yes. So what does this do? Colony development ship fit 25? 5%. Hmm. I'm not sure that sounds that interesting. But physics lab 2, the seemingly erratic behavior of tiny things can dramatically alter these stuff. Ah, uh, and that does get take advantage of his bonus. He's getting kind of old. I don't know how old he's going to live but for, but I think we should definitely go for these. Yes, we're going to go for the even better quantum labs. We're going to quantum the heck out of this universe. We won't know whether we're in the universe or out of the universe. It'll just be, you know, stuff going on. We should build another colony ship soon. Man, you see, a while back I was, like, running low on influence. Now I have tons of influence. And our fleet order has finished. The Pekander has finished what it's doing here. Oh, look, we have one of these guys just floating through the system, being free, whatever. Um, what can we? What can the Pekander build on? I'm looking for more like powerful things that they can research. Navi. Just, these are all kind of meh. Meh. Uh, we already got that. Hydrobius Space Sadabare and Caravan. Oh yeah, we, look, we get we get tons of stuff here. Let's uh, continue to exploit this system. Build a mining station so that we can take that power. We're mining the power, really, is what we're doing. Uh, meanwhile, how are we doing, actually? We're going to unlock influence. You know what? While we're doing that, actually, we have Lambda Aliens. We should research that. We know that's going to happen in 180 days. And then we'll get to find out all about this. So the Turk Bapont Observation Post is... Yeah, okay. So in about 50 months, we will have taught these things about our, uh, our science. And we now have better lightning conduits, but we're still a long way from being able to deploy the technology on our own. And while we're here now, the Maldor can actually survey the system. Survey the system so we can find out all the other secrets that are available to us. Okay. Oh. Ah, negative balance once again. Construction complete. 
<laughs> what are we building here? Man, this is kind of cool. Oh, actually, you know what? We should maybe think about upgrading our space station. We're starting to get cool ideas. Solar panel network. There we go. That'll help us with our power situation. We've had that sitting around for a long time and we haven't been using it. Aldara, we still haven't built a... We could actually build a spaceport here, but I don't know if we really need it just yet. And our fleet is repaired. So our fleet should head off looking for new things to kill. Uh, that was a space amoeba, which was still pretty strong. This one was a void cloud. I think we can kill this one. We know these ones are super powerful. Apparently the void clouds really like black holes. Maybe they feel at home in them. Maybe the black holes have some sort of energy that they can harness. Who knows? Who cares? It's all part of the game. Yeah. And I'm so looking forward to uplifting these guys. Look at them. Maybe they've got a whole nice big planet with volcanoes and stuff on them. No armies or anything. Oh! It seems we've that life has found a way, even on a planet between the extremes of rocky and sol rocky soils and liquid seas. Research. So we can actually go to the empire, not the empire. We can go to species, and we can look at the Bavi. They are molluscoid. They are natural physicists that are charismatic, and we are going to bring them into the fold, hopefully. Maybe not. Maybe they'll suddenly turn on us when once we give them space-age technology. Don't honestly know, but I just like the idea of bringing in other species into our... Uh, into our... Um, our empire, into our big, happy, religious family, where we worship the... Research something complete. or other. Research. We've got our new armor. Okay. Improved spaceport. Probably would be a good idea to get that now. Hmm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. And, 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 let me just see. We could reassign this person now. Because they've had some skills. Yes, I'm going to reassign them. And then you can start researching uh, Corvette assembly yards. Yes. So my science fleet, wait a second, one of these guys won't have any scientists anymore, so we'll take a look and find out who is free. You're available. And now you're going to be the one doing the research on the on the frontiers of our space. Okay. Definitely moving way out here. We still haven't found anything. All we're finding is these entities that just want to blow spaceships up because they're considered a pox on the universe. Okay, so yeah, I think uh, that is a good place to stop. We will come back to this and continue to fight against the materialistic whims of the Valdari worlds. Oh, wait. Fascinating creatures roam the plains and coasts of Ampari Dur 4. The Makandur reports that the life forms are using tools, however primitive and may have the potential for eventually achieving sentience. If only I'd taken the epigenics thing, I could do that. Ah. <sighs> Science officer Yargam Denperium stresses that finding alien life in this state is a rare opportunity and we should pay special attention. Maybe even uplift them to become our subjects. And the odds of that technology coming around again? Yeah, I bet you I don't get a chance for a long time. Okay, well anyway, as I was saying, good time to finish this episode. I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe.